Hello and welcome to Real Food. Today I'm going to prepare Japanese barbecued eel on Japanese rice. Um, this is um, my barbecued eel um, in frying pan. As you can see, I am going to cheat a little today because what I've done, I've actually ordered my barbecued eel and I ordered it from Sushiko. It's not cooked, um, it's actually just marinated in this Japanese barbecue sauce. It's called Unagi Kabayaki. And um, it comes in this um, plastic um, plastic bag and it comes frozen. I've defrosted it. Um, it's not cooked. Um, have a look, you know, you, you, I still need to cook it. And um, the instructions on the packet here say that I should either microwave or or use oven, but um, I'm not sure I want to use entire oven just for, for this portion and I actually don't like using microwave either so um, what I decided to do, I decided to lightly grill it in, in or fry it in olive oil and this is what I'm going to do and I will mention briefly that um, um, surprisingly eel is a very nutritious fatty fish which is very very good and very healthy but unfortunately it's not easily it's not easily available um in supermarkets in britain um there's another um, a very interesting um a dish called a jellied eel it's um cooked uh, already it's pieces of eel cooked in and it's um in a jelly um it's really interesting and very delicious i actually ordered those and i will be cooking them on another on another day um, but um, this Japanese style eel I mean you can order it in Japanese restaurants um, typically and um, and they do taste delicious the sauce the bu their barbecue sauce that they use it's it's a very sweet and very caramelized caramel like um, sauce which creates a perfect contrast for, for plain rice so this is what I'm going to do today so I'm going to um, lightly grill it um, but before I do that, I'm going to show you um, my rice. I've already put my rice on heat. And if you don't know how to prepare Japanese rice, it's a real um, work of art, to be honest. Um, you do need to wash it thoroughly. There's another video. You can watch another video where I show in detail how to do it. And if you follow it, um, your rice will be absolutely amazing. Perfect rice, just the way you see it in Japanese restaurants. But I will mention briefly what you actually need to do if you start your own rice, um, Japanese rice. You do need to wash it very, very thoroughly. I mean, it takes me about 15 times. Basically, your water needs to be clear uh, when you finish washing. Then you need to soak it for about 30 minutes. Yes, 30 minutes soaking, and it needs to absorb um, a lot of moisture. And then you put it on medium heat, like this and you cook it for another 10 minutes and after those 10 minutes you're allowed to steam again to continue absorbing the hot water for another 10 minutes so and if you follow these instructions your rice will never burn you'll have perfect rice it never gets stuck um, at the bottom you never get burnt rice at the bottom you just get that gorgeous fluffy rice I will show you later what it looks like but now I'm going to also put my um, my eel. I'm going to put my eel on heat. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to grill it lightly and um, this will be my topping um, for my Japanese meal. So I really look forward to it because I really do love uh, both Japanese rice and Japanese barbecued eel so it's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so I've been now uh, frying my eel now for a couple of minutes. I think it will be ready very soon. Um, and I like that it doesn't stick to um, to my frying pan. So it's a very well, it's a very fatty fish to start with, and I've got some olive oil in there. So it looks really gorgeous, and it's very beautiful, tender already. And I'm going to show you my rice. So this is my rice after about 10 minutes. Look how beautiful it is, fluffy, gorgeous. So my rice can now um, rest. You know, I'm going to switch the heat off, and it will just rest and absorb some of them, 
some of their remaining moisture and steam in there. Um, my eel is also getting ready. I think it's actually ready now, so I can pretty much switch off the heat. Um, it doesn't need a um, very long frying um, session because, um, as you can see, the actual flesh itself is fairly thin. Um, so um, very gentle, light frying or grilling will actually work. And it's already very soft, I can tell. Another thing I'm going to do, quite often when you go to Japanese restaurants, they give you a box or a don, and they've got multi multiple layers. The bottom layer is the rice, and then the second layer is often um, sprouted beans. I don't have any sprouted beans at the moment, but I've got alpha, alpha and radish sprouts. So I'm going to lay these alpha radish sprouts on top of rice, um, and then I'm going to sprinkle it with... Um, with um, soy sauce and then my eel is going to go on top and I'm going to have my perfect Japanese don. It's like a box um, um, with multiple layers. Rice, sprouts and fish. So here's my rice covered in sprouts and what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some soy sauce. This will make uh, my rice taste absolutely fantastic and it will further, it will further moisturize my rice. And this is my eel, so my eel is pretty much ready um, to be transferred. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's very soft. It's very lovely. I hope it doesn't break as I transfer it. Here we are. I was actually worried when I saw these, um, I, when I saw this package, that um, it's too much, this, this too much eel. But you know what, after you fry it, um, it does shrink a little, and it's just a perfect portion. So this is exactly how I wanted it. So um, there's my eel on top, there's sprouts, and there's gorgeous Japanese rice at the bottom. So um, let me wish you bon appétit. Um, I, I'll mention that I ordered my eel from, from the Fish Society in Britain, um, but you can, if you search barbecued eel, you can, you can order it online. Sadly, supermarkets don't always sell it. But there are some specialist Asian supermarkets or Japanese supermarkets. You can get it like that in a, in a plastic bag. Um, but uh, generally, um, most supermarkets wouldn't have it in stock. But luckily, you can order. So, um, Fish Society is one option. And do use Japanese rice, because it works really, really well with, um, with eel. So let me wish you bon appétit, and we'll chat again soon.